So I hope that in 20 years from now, we are all flying like Superman and Harry Potter. How do you make people fly? Launch a global competition. It's to fly like a bird or Superman or even Harry Potter. Two and a half years ago, serial entrepreneur Gwen Leiter convinced Boeing and other sponsors to put up more than $2 million in total prize money in a challenge to create a personal flying machine. Look, defying gravity is incredibly hard. And the competition rules made it even harder, including size limits and a requirement to not have rotors or structure above the pilot. The entrance ranged from solo dreamers. Flies, it hovers, fits in your garage. Everything you'd ever want for excitement and thrills. And it may or may not cost you a wife. To small teams. It's not just a tech toy. It's just, it's our way of sharing our message with the world. We really want to push innovation and imagination, especially for kids. And um, this is like, this is my way to get enough attention that I can channel that onto something good. To companies building technology demonstrators. We'd like to sell ducted propellers to everyone that wants to use this. We see it as an enabling technology for any application where size, noise, and safety are critical to university research programs. And then we want to uh, generate more resources and use GoFly as a springboard to develop further prototypes and eventually get this to, to market. On the first day of the GoFly competition, demonstration flights. Ooh. said this was hard. Now day two was supposed to be the actual fly-off, but the wind was too stiff. Now in truth, only one of the finalists could have flown the Dragon Air hoverboard, but a landing mishap the day before disqualified the machine. So no winners this year. That grand prize is still up for grabs, so our teams can compete for that. Uh, we uh, look forward, if anyone else is interested in joining us, uh, feel free to reach out to us at info at goflyprize.com to find out more about it. But that grand prize is still open to anybody who wants to take up that challenge. But the Tetra team from Japan did win the Pratt & Whitney $100,000 Disruptor Prize for... A team that challenged the status quo delivered unique thinking into a complex issue and considered safety, reliability, durability, and system integration. And although the Tetra team has yet to fly a manned prototype. We are not going to stop. We want to develop it as much. We want to be the first to show the world that yes, this kind of technology is possible and everyone can have it. We don't want to make it so safe that anyone can just wake up in the morning and I want to buy it, and they can go and buy one. All of the teams are continuing. The dream of a personal flying machine really isn't that far away. As a child, I always wanted to fly. My sister and I would make crazy contraptions and throw ourselves out of trees to see if we could fly. And decades and decades later, um, when I started learning about all of this, uh, this convergence of breakthrough technologies, we realized that it was the first moment in history where we actually had the ability to make people fly in that way of our childhood dreams. Warren Morningstar, AOPA Live.